This is Patreon exclusive material from Norse Code. Welcome to Norse Code, the number one podcast for your Minnesota Vikings. My name is James Pagoshnik, and I am your host and producer, and it's just me today, as we are doing our annual April Patreon preview episode. We have a bunch of clips from episodes that we've put out as bonus material over on Patreon, and we wanted to share this with everyone, so you get a taste of what we're doing over on Patreon. If you enjoy what we're doing, please consider subscribing over at patreon.com slash norsecode. For $3.50 a month, you can get access to bonus material, the Discord, and more. Patreon is the best way to support us financially. It helps keep the lights on. It helps pay for things like server storage. It ends up paying for things like new merchandise when we need to get a body pillow out. And it does all of this without us having to resort to doing ad reads. We have heard you complain for years about other podcasts that have to do ad reads Every five minutes, every ten minutes, it's ridiculous. And a lot of them are the same. And a lot of them are a little troubling. So this is our way of saying thank you guys so much for listening. If you enjoy what we're doing, great. Please consider subscribing. Help us remain ad-free. Help us do things like the live shows, traveling, getting new equipment when we need it, stuff like that. So please consider subscribing over at Patreon if you enjoy what we're putting out today. As a side note... Standard clip show rules apply. This does contain cursing. Once again, there is plenty of cursing in this. We apologize, but this is the Patreon experience. So, reminder, as you go through this, this is not your typical episode. There is some cursing involved. You also have Drop Play Dave randomly appearing in here too, so enjoy that. Anyway, enough of me talking. Let's get into the clip stuff. Again, this is what keeps us ad-free. Thank you guys so much for listening. And may you all have a very fine 1st of April. Staying safe online is an ever-growing difficulty. Do you feel like you have a lack of privacy in the world? Maybe you deal with imposter syndrome on a daily basis. Perhaps you took over the identity of a complicated Canadian and are paranoid that people are on to you. Well, don't worry about any of that with NordVPN. NordVPN allows you to change your IP address, making you harder to track, securing your privacy. Check out the link in the show notes to get 20% off for the first two months using promo code MELISSA. And thank you to NordVPN for sponsoring this podcast. Uh, Bob Bolshery, for Reef's tying the lore together corner, should we take it as a sign of fortune or misfortune that the name MELISSA comes from the ancient Greek word for honeybees? God, I saw this in, I think it was in the Discord, right? I saw this Mm -hmm. and I looked it up and I, it's, true and very annoying it's extremely why is it like this why why are the bits so strong yeah the the bits have like their own life and they impact the real world it's very like what do i what do i do with (laughs) well it's like finding out that the voices in your head aren't just aren't just real but they're accurate as well yeah, that's – what do you <laughs> do with that? Like that's like – like if you're – if you come to that realization and people have been telling you your whole life, well-meaning, well-founded, hey, don't listen to the voices in your head. That's pretty dangerous. And you come upon incontrovertible proof, which is impossible because you know you can only experience your own senses and your senses are what's lying to you. But let's say you do experience incontrovertible proof that the voices in your head are telling the truth like – you got you've got some choices to make right? yeah there's a there's a few things you're gonna have to do a few, right a few a few movements you're gonna have to pull off so okay so i did find this out so melissa in greek does mean bee uh which comes from the greek word for honey right and it apparently comes further back from hittite where it's where melit or melit signifies honey but there's a gaelic name melissa which has been anglicized to Melissa, which just means servant of Jesus, has nothing to do with the Greek. So that's something that you could also consider. 
<laughs> right? We did not everything's bees is what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, uh, in ancient Greek mythology, Melissa was a nymph who I'm reading directly from the Wikipedia page was a nymph <laughs> who discovered and taught the, I just want this to be like clear. Oh, right? absolutely. I appreciate you not mansplaining this. <laughs> Melissa was a nymph who discovered and taught the use of honey and from whom bees were believed to have received their name. She was one of the nymph nurses of Zeus, sisters to Amalthea, but rather than feeding the baby milk, Melissa, appropriately for her name, fed him honey. So, you know, that's, I, I, I don't, I don't really, like, the, clearly the bits have, uh, you know how, like, uh, there are some trees where the forest is all kind of just a couple of trees because underneath the root system has combined, right? And so they become like one life form. They are one life form, right? Like bonsai trees, I think, do that. Um, I, I, the bits are doing that. The roots are, are, are reaching underground, making contact with one another, and becoming one bit. And it's, it's very difficult to interpret and move forward. See, I was going to say that they're all, all the bits are turning into the um, monsters from The Last of Us and, uh, and destroying us all. Oh yeah, the monsters. Yeah, that's true. Because the the way that the um, in the show, the way that the zombies work is that they're all connected through yeah. a fungal root structure. Why not, James? What's the turnover thing? Yeah. Oh my god! I just looked at the Pro Football Reference thing for Daniel Jones. Uh, his nicknames are obviously Danny Dimes or Vanilla Vic. I'm so. Well, that's got to be something that we say on the show. Yeah, one hundred percent. That. Um... I'm uncomfy. Great. Great. I'll put it in orange so that you don't read it. Vanilla. Va- That's not how that works. <laughs> okay, I'll, we'll, I'll, but- I'm not I'm not colorblind to some like to, to, to the to that shade of orange or something. I'm just whenever know? I've written anything in orange, you haven't read it. So I figure. <laughs> <laughs> I've got that Ariva's your waifu thing in yellow, but I still read yellow text. So. <laughs> I don't, I don't know what you're trying to prove here, but it's not, it's not going well. <laughs> uh, so. Hi, I'm podcast host and media gadfly Arifa San, and I'm here to talk to you about the cookie delivery for the people. Insomnia cookie. You, the people, Demand less verifiable child labor in your cookie delivery experience, and Insomnia is here to meet that need. The Insomnia guarantee is that you will never know the depths of our depravity. You will only know the depths of the gooey chocolate inside of our double chocolate chunk mega cookie. A premium service usually comes at a premium price, but you can get a discount code with coupon code BOLSHARIF. I don't, I don't know how to take this information. That doesn't sound right. Will wonders never cease? I'm... It's the power of the cookie. It's the power. I, I didn't get it. I didn't get a cookie. power of the cookie. I didn't get a cookie or anything. I didn't order anything that was not related at all to the delay. That's the sound of me not believing you. Um, <laughs> I mean, sure. If you if you tell me that you didn't eat the cookie then or didn't get the cookie, then you didn't get the cookie. I, I, I absolutely trust you here. I'm just. Look, when I order those cookies, I tell you, there's no like hiding. I just I can test your characterization of what that means or what the cookies are. But when I order the cookie, I this is like, well, no, I yeah, share you, it. You are absolutely you, you are excited. The excitement is palpable. You can hear it in your voice. You can hear the disappointment, one that takes forever to get there because it shouldn't take that long for a bougie cookie to get there. I get it. No, I, I can. It's, when it's you not do, a bougie. You can hear it's a it cookie. in your voice. You can hear how that, excited you are. nothing about the cookie. I get it. I really do. It gives it a class I was wrong characteristic. To, at this particular moment, the cookie I does was not the own one who the was means wrong of production. To just it can't. Saying. It's a cookie. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to keep going. <laughs> I wanted to win that. That's all I wanted. 
<laughs> Can't let me have a goddamn thing. Good. As as no. was evidenced last episode. Want to hear about how I'm a genius? How are you a genius? Uh, so I was like, yeah, I should get water, and I, you know, I'm, I'm screwing around on uh, on my phone, going through like signal messages and stuff. I'm like, ah, I didn't think to bring any water downstairs. Crap. So I go upstairs, grab some water. Hard to find a glass. Fine, find it, fill it up, drink the water. Come back downstairs, put the water in the place I always put my water. There's already a glass full of water there. <laughs> Congratulations on your geniusitude. Yeah, I'm so smart. Well, now I have twice the water. So that's obviously me being smart and my brain working in my favor. Well, I I have a wonderful like $4 bottle of water right in front of me right now because I went to a movie before I uh, came I right after work instead of coming home. So <laughs> I and I didn't end up drinking the water surprisingly all that much. So I have this like full bottle of movie theater water which does not taste any better <laughs> despite the fact that it's four fucking dollars or whatever it is. I've, uh, I've got that sitting here since I went to Ant-Man before uh, coming home. Very. How was it? Uh, it was, it was okay, but here's my problem. And I'm not like spoiling anything, but like it's a really dark movie. And I don't mean dark as in like, Evil, like it's hard, sad. It it's is hard to see. Yes, it is like somebody okay. looked at the Battle of Winterfell for Game of Thrones and went, "I bet we can make it darker." Yeah, I I heard that criticism and uh, and like I'd seen it on Twitter a couple of times, and then someone responded with, "Why are movies getting darker?" Which because that's like a well known phenomenon. Yeah. Movies are getting darker, and then someone responded with a Vox video, and the Vox video was like, you know, movies are getting darker because they're built for. Um, a, because it saves money when you're transferring files because brighter colors uh, take up more space in the in the coding or whatever, right? Or changes in color, rather. And so brighter colors lead mm-hmm. to more changes in color because that's how encoding works, right? Um, and it's like, well, okay, maybe. And then also uh, TV screens don't have as much dynamic range as theaters. And okay, that's all true. Um, and that's definitely true from a sound perspective. But like everyone's complaining about how it's dark in the theater. No one is talking about their Disney Plus version yeah. of Quantumania. It's, it's, it's fucking ridiculous. For the first two thirds of that movie, it felt like uh, I get what they were trying to do, but at the same time, it was just overdone. Yeah, no, it wasn't bad. It was just kind of it was it was I was entertained, but I didn't walk away thinking it was like an extraordinary movie. I liked it a hell of a lot more. Then I liked the new Thor movie. Oh yeah, I haven't. I've like again. I haven't watched yeah. any Marvel. Yeah. So the new Thor the new movie, Thor movie is, is like whatever. Just it's it's like they had a, a a number they had to hit as far as jokes were concerned, and they didn't care if anything hit. They just needed to hit this number, <laughs> and they just kept going and going and going. And if it was a meme popular on the internet in 2019, they hit it. Oh Jesus. It was uh, right around the time that there are goats uh, at one point and they're an important plot piece kind of. And it's you just sit there and go, oh, my fucking God, really? Right. It's like, oh, goats are inherently funny. um, So we're just going to keep putting goats in here and now we're all going to laugh. And it's like it's the same joke over and over again. And I remember when I was in middle school and people thought, you know, uh, being random at being funny and saying the word banana a lot meant being random. It was like the difference between Deadpool one and Deadpool two is what oh. is what it was with That's uh, actually a very evocative comparison. That's good. Yeah, it's, it's, it was like the difference between Deadpool one and Deadpool two with uh, the second or with the third Thor movie and the fourth. Like they, they're like, oh, so all of these things worked, huh? Well, what if we do them ten times each? <laughs> What's going to happen now? It it felt a bit like that, like it it just, and like the ending didn't for for Thor, like the ending, it made sense, but it was dumb, and you could argue that the concept that was being done to take down the bad guy is kind of wholly inappropriate, <laughs> but. <laughs> Like at one point, Thor's in charge of a child army, and you go, "That's not okay. That's not. 
What? <laughs> <laughs> is it like is it like the anime excuse where the children aren't really children or No, oh, no, like- these were absolutely children. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, I didn't I don't know at what point we hit like Coney 2012 but leave me out of it man like we we took a turn here and it's not okay um, <laughs> I suppose never having seen the movie it's <laughs> No, that's that's literally how he defeats the bad guy. Is he has an army of he has sorry, he turns the children into an army of child soldiers that are now attacking the bad guy. <laughs> <laughs> I just kept thinking of the um of how just horribly inappropriate that was. But, like, you can't say anything in the theater. Right. Because yeah. everyone's enjoying the Thor movie. And it's a very beautiful movie. But Thor's in charge of an army of <laughs> fucking child soldiers. That's... And it's hard to get over that fact. So, okay. I mean, <laughs> go on Disney Plus and just. I yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to do like a speed run of background watching of Marvel movies. <laughs> Not because I want to get caught up, but because like there are clearly some hidden gems in <laughs> <laughs> Need to get away and can't crowdfund a plane ticket? Try the Nessie brand Luke Braun mask. It's great for all occasions. Birthdays, children's parties, bar mitzvahs, quinceaneras, weddings, Scientology screenings, and wherever stacks of cards or cash was easily available. Just listen to these testimonials. I got away with it all with the help of my Luke Brown mask. Not only did I rob a bank, but I put take after terrible takeout and was able to blame it all on Luke. If you need to take care of someone in your own podcast network that brings down the whole division, the Luke Brown mask could help with that too. I put out a list of QBs and ranked them on their attractiveness and used the mask as a distraction from the rest of my derivative takes. It has so many uses. I can't wait to take it on my next trip abroad. The Luke Braun mask. Never leave home without it. Look, you're on the show (laughs) because you think of all these things like hell leagues and death pools. And I'm on the show because people find it appropriate to ask me about Nietzschean recurrence when it comes to football. Those are, that's what we do. Those are our strengths. It's such a niche market. And yet we get thousands of listeners every episode. It's, you know, it's... There are moments in time where this podcast should really just be getting podcaster baiting numbers. And instead, oh, yeah. instead, in defiance of God's will, it'll get... I mean, we had a first mover advantage. Let's not pretend we're a quiet well, podcast. Well, yeah, let's... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we 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 were like we absolutely white privileged the fuck out of this. Yeah. <laughs> we we saw a podcast market that had two other podcasts on it. One didn't post even once a month, so yeah. we were we were golden. And and then we get to post on the most popular Vikings blog on the internet. Yeah. Oh, we were we were we were shoehorned. We're legacies. Oh we're yeah, Princeton. We're Princeton. <laughs> right. We now. were we Princeton the fuck out of that. Even Princeton people went damn. <laughs> what a gig yeah and you know they, at the end of the day I, I still feel like one of those like uh dinosaurs from like the flintstones cartoons like eh, it's a living it's a living <laughs> jesus christ <laughs> <laughs> yeah I, I i had to look up baruch spinoza for this question it's a living <laughs> by the way uh you know what I highly recommend, and I posted this in the Discord, if you don't already own one, I suggest that you go and uh, class up your living uh, living house, your living arrangement, oh, living Jesus. house. You should go out and get yourself a bar globe. A bar globe? A bar globe. So, at one point, I, I always, after a dumb situation find myself i say dumb situation after a breakup i always find myself buying something stupid dumb dumb situation and uh eh, yeah and uh i decided this time around i would do something like this 
Where's the chat? There it is. So I ended up going out and buying this. I got it like two weeks ago. It came in this week. And let me tell you about how fucking amazing this thing is. Now, I'm not saying it is on the same level as oh. a as a heater for your steering wheel, which I'll never be able to go without again on a car. But there is just a certain amount of power you feel when you have someone over and you say, just help yourself to a drink in the globe. That's... I see, I see the vision. It's, it's <laughs> glorious. It is glorious. Oh, God, when you open it up. Oh, that's that's insanely classy. You're right. You said class up. To, yeah, correct. <laughs> I showed it to Dusty, and he went, if you don't get that, you're an idiot. And I went, fuck. That rules. Oh, my God. I will, I will discuss this with Chelsea later. <laughs> you should. Like, I posted a video of it in the uh, in the chat or in the uh, in uh, in the Discord when I got it, and it was like when it was even when I was debating getting it like two months ago, and then when I finally picked it up here, uh, when it finally came like a couple days ago, I was just I was looking at it going, "This is so fucking stupid," and then I started putting liquor bottles in it and and you know went over and and opened opened it up to uh, to get something out and I was like this is perfect like vic was over on saturday night and we were watching the fight and uh we just had the globe open we just had the globe open and just like reaching <laughs> in <laughs> just going through the scotch like this is so where's my monocle i want to look rich what what's the what's the next step here <laughs> i want i want to be part of the problem that's what this. That's what this globe I screams. Be part of the problem. <laughs> Look, I've seen solutions, and frankly, I've had enough of them. Exactly. Elon was right when he said, and then you know. <laughs> As a Minnesota Vikings fan, you've likely thought about pricing therapy options. Well, we at BetterHelp are here to make this easy and affordable. Plans start at just thirty-five dollars, unlimited sessions, and cancel any time. Just ignore that you're charged thousands of dollars up front for this, which, if you could afford that, you probably wouldn't need to be in therapy through an app to begin with, for something that you don't even know if you'll like. And unlimited sessions with therapists that have a slight problem with ghosting their clients. Or just charging for sessions that don't happen. Don't worry, we make up for lost time by selling your private therapeutic needs to the highest bidder. Guidance and expertise from a trusted professional can give you fresh solutions to the most pressing issues. BetterHelp's licensed counselors specialize in areas like relationships, family conflicts, anxiety, and NFC playoff losses. And while we have no way to train therapists or do quality checks on them, we believe that advertising on nearly every podcast on the planet will make you trust our brand of self-improvement. After all, small steps in the right direction are still steps in the right direction, right Vikings fans? So why not get started today and stop being able to afford everything else in your life? Go to BetterHelp.com slash Norse Code. That's betterhelp.com slash Norse code. So like that level of, of dumb petty shit. Cause apparently I'm 26. Maybe that's what I should that's do. That's really good. What that's... I should be is better. And I am not. <laughs> what I should be is better. <laughs> and I am absolutely not. <sighs> thus, the, thus the emergency trip to Vegas or something. I just, I need to get away from this world, these people in it. I feel more and more like Dr. Manhattan. I'm out. <laughs> I think I, I think the pettiest thing I, it was, of course, it's a debate story. What the fuck else would it be? <laughs> what? Was, fuck. I, are you sure? Can, are, are we positive that this is actually what's going on? I, okay. you've never told a debate story on the show. You flat out <laughs> refuse to. <laughs> I mean, like, look, it's the only thing I cared about in high school, okay? <laughs> like, it, it's just... For North Code from Nolan Kaler, what did Melissa's topless stage crasher know? Uh, apparently at the juniors... Old growth now, save the green belt. Yeah, apparently at the Juno Awards, uh, Melissa was performing. Canada ass name. 
Yeah. Melissa was performing under the name uh, Avril Lavigne. As and she's want to. As, as she's been known to do. Yeah. And a topless protester came up onto the stage. The question is, what did the topless stage crasher know? I think she knew the truth. I think there's code here. No, I I, th- I think she knew the truth. I mean, one, obviously, she's protesting uh, logging practices in Canada. Um, but that, I think, is is it's – you know how, like, messages will often have layers? This is mansplaining. You know how media <laughs> – Yes, I am familiar <laughs> with how this is a thing. <laughs> you know how movies have themes? Uh, um, yeah, so so yeah, in this case, it's it's two layers. One, right? We need to save the 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 natural state, the environment, the ecology of Canada. Two, we need to recognize that this is unnatural, right? Not just what we're doing to Canada. But this person that describes themselves as Avril Lavigne, that's unnatural. Maybe that's Avril, maybe Avril is in the forest, and that's why they're trying to protect it. Oh yeah, that, this needs to be investigated for sure. I'm, uh, I'm not, I'm not opposed to spending Patreon money on this. <laughs> I, I am so very disturbed right now. This is so awful. Uh, do you think? This is worse for you to to see this, or do you think that it was li- worse for Luke Braun to see the mask on the recording of the <laughs> October thirty first episode of the football party? Because he was he was generally shaken up. He was well, totally he was, he taken was like out of his element. He was totally yeah, taken out of his element. He was, but I felt like it was just distracting. To have, I guess it, it would be his own face that, yes. how, that cre- increased, but like, just like, there's just no mouth movement <laughs> during the whole, <laughs> there's a video of someone talking and you can't, and I guess the fact that it was him, like if I was wearing like a, um, like a Jason mask, it would be not nearly as bad, but like, guys, I don't think it was like disturbing. It was just like eerie. This is disturbing. <laughs> Yeah, it uh, it certainly is. Well, you go enjoy your uh, your your luche here, and uh, I'm uh, I'm gonna upload this to the Discord and uh, yeah. go repent for all of the sins I am about to to, have to be a part of. Cool. I'm gonna throw up and then hopefully fill the void with pizza. <laughs> that sounds well. You'll have more room. You'll be fine. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Everyone's happy, <laughs> especially you, Norse Code fans. We've finally heard enough. It's time to make a long-requested item available to all of you. For one day only, March 31st, 2023, you can go to norsecode.threadless.com and pick up your Arif body pillow. That's right, it's finally here. Be the envy of your friends and family with the full-size Arif body pillow. Need a plus one for the big dance? How about access to the carpool lane? Or do you just need to curl up with the warmest and cuddliest of the Norse Code personalities? All this can be yours at norsecode.threadless.com. And as a special added bonus, you have the option of picking up the talking Arif body pillow as well. It comes with such phrases as... Oh, come on! I can't believe James talked me into doing this. There was this one debate round. Chad Greenway is bad at football. There's nothing bougie about these cookies. I support the labor practices of this cookie establishment. Hands off the merchandise. Case cookies. Fuck, can't you believe? (laughs) No, no, I can absolutely believe what happened here tonight. (laughs) (laughs) Let me me be clear. We gave some some fantastic advice tonight. We did. 100%. Uh, I think Luke kicked me out of the lockdown Vikings. <laughs> well, let me see. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're not. <laughs> uh, did he mention uh, like a retaliatory kick? Is that what happened? He did not. <laughs> wow, phenomenal. Well, I'm going <laughs> to pretend that I didn't notice because I'm going to pretend I didn't even know I was in there. Uh, yeah, it's, it's not because I did, you have to go to the discord right now, uh, our discord and see what 
Kyle Slaby photoshopped. Oh my god! Yeah, I uh, I reacted to that already. It's <laughs> so good. It's so good. That that hurts my soul. It's incredible. So the only thing better would be if you did it to the Brazilian one too. Yes. Well, <laughs> he can't be he can't be everywhere, but he can try. <laughs> well, with the power of masks. Well, I think that. <laughs> what sucks is I have a like a, he he posted some picture uh that I could turn into a better mask and like I don't want to do that. Yeah, the the fact that the current mask model is pretty scuffed. Yeah, is like is part of it. Yeah, you know? that, that's part of the charm is how awful it looks. <laughs> God. And finally, let's talk about uh, Byron Smith, Troy Reader, and Brandon Powell. Byron Murphy. You have... Because uh, I'm a bad person. You want to set me up to fail again? Constantly. <sighs> you know, for being the expert on the show, the analyst yeah. on the show, I'm just... That's probably a better way to put it. Yeah, not expert. <laughs> I'm just a guy who thinks professionally. It doesn't mean I'm good at it. That should be on your. Uh, that should be on your business card. That should be burned into wood in your home. I can I can get you a wood burning kit if if you want to like make this your thing. Maybe have I, that I in saw, the background of of one of your Zoom things on Pro Football Network. Oh my god! If I could get a wood burn carving of that tweet. I thought you were gonna say like a wood carving of like of like Case Cookus like the wording behind it no no something way more obscure <laughs> oh yeah no that too yeah <laughs> all right all right byron murphy you say all right three two one hey you yeah you aren't you sick and tired of those mobile games that look like one thing in the advertisements but once you open up the game it's completely different well we took an actual single mother and her child and have held them hostage in a broken down cabin in the tundra until they starve or you match all of the colors in order to keep them warm and fed. This game is exactly like what the ads look like. It has amazing graphics because it's a 4K feed of the family in question and also features incredible gameplay because you'll never feel more alive than when there are real stakes to play for. Welcome to real life Tamagotchi. It's the perfect blend of strategy, critical thinking, excitement, and storyline to keep you playing. Don't believe me? If you don't, she could die. Download Uncle Larry's Parenting Corner today. Available in the Apple App Store or Google Play. It's, hey. It says Dave, yep. but I don't know if I trust it. All right, can you guys hear me? Sure Unfortunately. can. All right, cool. Is there any way to turn yourself down just a little bit? I could move the microphone further away. Yeah, sure. You know, and I thought that uh, Arif's chair creaked. Oh, yeah. Like, no longer, by the way. Well, no, you eventually, at my beha- at my like urging, you went and switched out the chairs because you weren't going to do it until I just went, fucking, Arif, you've been talking about this for six months. Go fucking do it. That's true, yeah. It's literally it's just upstairs. But <laughs> hey, by the way, new change. Bought one of those fucking crazy expensive chairs. Um, so I've been sitting in that for the past two weeks. Have you been using the, uh, have you been using that, that, that great merch money that we've been getting that great, great merch money that comes in $2. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I, I pulled together a thousand of those, <laughs> which by the way, I suppose I could like ask the show to cover. I don't know. It's a stupid expensive chair though. I didn't even <laughs> consider it. I was just like. All right, it's it's literally an eighteen hundred dollar chair. You know what you should do. You should, get, you should get one of your. Wow, other. you got ripped off. You could get a good chair for at least like fifteen hundred. I, I was gonna say you should. <laughs> well, no, I didn't. I didn't say I paid eighteen hundred. No. <laughs> I paid twelve hundred. You're on. You're on better monetized shows than this one. They should be the ones paying for it. So, um, what could you possibly have to say? <laughs> I. I don't really have anything to say. I just came on to laugh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> kind of the vibe, anyway. I'll I'll try to I'll try to give some form of a cue as to when the Giants fan slash 
kind of Vikings fan. Uh, that was that must have been weird watching that a little bit. Like, I mean, he's got like pretty clear priorities, right? So mm-hmm. it couldn't have been too. Weird. Not, I mean, yeah, like. I, I love the Vikings and I root for them when they're not playing the Giants, but when they're playing the Giants, no, it's 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 Giants. I, I want Kirk Cousins to fail. My son well, is a not uncommon feeling, I think. <laughs> yeah. But especially amongst our listener base. <laughs> <laughs> Plus I also have a backup going of the uh, of the recording, so worst case scenario we can use that and be fine as well. So uh, Reef. I know you're gonna edit out all the good stuff. So, oh God, that's why yeah, that Patreon exists. Yeah, yeah, we have to, we we have to monetize you as much as we can. Like, yeah, yeah. Where are my residuals for the picture? <laughs> <laughs> you, your dog has been trying to eat them, as far as I can tell. <laughs> yeah, my dog doesn't eat our shower curtains. So, <laughs> so true story the guy who uh the guy who bought the only shower curtain as far as i know the only shower curtain uh in existence with the reef's face on it again that i know of uh that, that also that i know of but i'm concerned <laughs> about the limits of our knowledge here the only person who did that uh won the uh won the original hell league this year he won the fantasy uh he, he won our fantasy league with uh with hell league rules so he is crediting his win with uh, he's crediting the win with owning that in his home. Also, he is now scared of his bathroom. I would. I would be scared of my bathroom to turn yeah. it on. Just see the big giant Arif faces staring at me when the lights go. Three on. of them. Not even just one. That As he said, they're like, hey, yeah, they just asked to go to the bathroom. And then it's like they, they came out and they were like, <laughs> ah, like, hey, like, I got to go. You know, I, I forgot I got something to go going on. Like, yeah, see a slam run. It'd be like it's, it'd be like turning on the like we had a my wife was insistent on, on getting married at this one location. And when we went, we when we took a tour of it, everything was fine. I went, oh, I got to go to the bathroom. So I went to the bathroom. It's this like old heritage days looking barn thing. And I went to the bathroom and the creepiest doll is in there just giving you like the staring eyes. And if I ever needed like a Shakespearean warning of what I was about to do, this was it. And I ignored it. But I was like, I walked in. I was like, oh, God, like I like about jumped out of my shoes. Like, dolls should not be allowed in bathrooms. No, that should that should be a doll yeah. free zone. I agree. There, there, there should well, be. Okay, rules. you got you got to be really careful here because doll is slang for <laughs> trans women sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> so you just like just be careful with that one. Yeah, be careful. The woke mob isn't going to cancel yeah, you. Yeah, uh, I <laughs> also agree that action figures should not be. In <laughs> there was nothing <laughs> inanimate <laughs> objects that look like people but with odd proportions. Well, he's perfectly proportioned to inanimate objects, though. Totally yeah, allowed. Those are, th- that's fine. Real dolls Oddly are apparently specific, fine. But okay. but yeah, I was just. <laughs> that's. Uh, yeah. All right. Then. Again, we're, we're just monetizing you as much as we can. <laughs> all right. Here. Hi, I'm Calvin Ridley, and you'll love the three team, five team and eight team parlays on DraftKings.com and the DraftKings app. Make every moment more with DraftKings, an official sports betting partner of some league somewhere. 21 plus and present select states for selling real money. Wager only $10 to buy required refund issued as non-withdrawal but bonus best expired 14 days restrictions supply. See full to DraftKings.com slash sports with gambling problem. DraftKings offering online sports wagering in Kansas and agreement with Kansas Star Casino. Also gambling problem call 100 gambler or visit DraftKings.com slash RG. In Colorado, Iowa, Michigan, New Jersey, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Illinois, Tennessee, Virginia, and Arizona call 100 next epic. Connecticut visit ccpg.org slash chat. In Indiana call 109 with it and Kansas call 1-800-522-4700. In Louisiana call 1-877-770-STOP. In Massachusetts call 1-800-327-5050. In Maryland visit mdgamblinghelp.org. In New York text over New York and Wyoming visit 1-800-522-4700. In West Virginia, visit 1800gambler.net. Oh, holy fuck! Yeah! <laughs> 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 holy shit! <laughs> No, he's not. Uh, he's certainly no. Jo- he's no John Coon. He's no John Coon. This is. Uh, I don't know what they would. I, I absolutely don't know. Well, I hope about. they don't yell the same thing. Well, That's the concern. Oh my Jesus Christ, Arif! Well, I do, well, look. It just came into my head just now. Okay, uh, I'm not including that. What the f- Jesus Christ? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> 
I. <sighs> <laughs> I want to congratulate you <laughs> on bringing the show to a complete screeching halt. I always knew you were capable of it. And regardless, <laughs> I've always been able to push through, except this one. That's probably not even making it to a Patreon. Oh, that's all oh, you're goddamn right. That's going into a Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> Going in the next one, it's getting buried. Um, I mean, look, if if we weren't concerned about my career, which understandable, that would be a great show title. <laughs> well, I hope they don't yell the same thing. Oh, I thought, no, I thought the show title was just going to be K U H N. I mean. I'm, I'm I'm holding my hands up like the guy who beat Michael Jordan at the thing. Like, hmm? <laughs> why? All right, I'm going to ask about Harrison Smith, and we're going to go to the mailbag because I can't handle life at the moment. So coming back <laughs> mm-hmm. in, in three, two, one. Well, another name that, uh, that's been kind of rolling around with people is, is Harrison Smith on the defense. Yep. Sorry, I'm still lost. I, I, I'm, so, I'm like Googling whether or not is, like, is Josiah DeGuerra considered white or is he Hispanic? Like, oh. are Packers fans okay with that? Okay, there's a, right, there's player. There was a Packers player with a 3% tattoo that Justice never pointed out. Norse Code is the largest and only division of Norse Code LLC. You can find Norse Code on the Daily Norseman, SB Nation's Vikings blog at dailynorseman.com. You can also find it on iTunes, Apple Podcast, Spotify, Stitcher, Google Play, and wherever fine podcasts are aggregated. Our Vikings blogger extraordinaire and generally useful human is Arif Hassan of Pro Football Network, and he can be found at Arif Hassan NFL. I am your producer and host, and my name is James Pagoshnik. You can find me at the show's official Twitter feed, at NorseCodeDN, or my personal account, at BigMono. If you'd like to donate a few bucks to the show, you can do so in a few different ways. You can go to Patreon.com slash NorseCode and donate there. For $3.50 a month, you get bonus material and more. You can also go to PayPal.me slash NorseCode for a one-time donation, or you can go to NorseCode.Threadless.com and pick up some Norse Code merchandise. Any questions or comments that cannot fit in a tweet can be sent to NorseCodePodcast at gmail.com. On behalf of the Norse Code staff, thank you so much for listening. Our formula is this. Hey, all things are possible through the power of Ben DiNucci. 